This was my philosophy, and I think it worked out uh, very well. Firstly, I found uh, the crisis to be amazingly galvanizing for our team. Um, remember, uh, I had been back at ING Direct for probably about eight months at the time. We had made some changes to the structure of the organization, and even some changes uh, to some peop with some people. Um, and a crisis came, and it was a, a, an amazing time uh, where either people galvanize together as a team and decide to work together and give everything they can, or they f fracture apart, right? I mean, that's the risk of what can happen in the face of tremendous uncertainty. And uh, fortunately, our team uh, very much came together. Uh, one thing that I decided uh, in this time of great change and uncertainty was to have complete transparency with the organization. So we would have, uh, we would find stuff out on sat on Sunday, you know, about what was going to happen, you know, if there were decisions about ING Group or bad news about getting capital or something like that, I'd find out Sunday night and, uh, you know, we had 900 employees at the time, finding a way to tell 900 employees the truth about what I had learned on Sunday. And I think it built a tremendous amount of trust, a tremendous amount of equity with our employees, the level of transparency. I shared with them exactly what I knew, I told them exactly what I didn't know, and I promised them that as, as information became available, I would share it with them. And um, we really went into high, high communication mode, which I don't think is the standard practice for, uh, for, for, for business. So, uh, and I think that has uh, been very, very helpful to our business. I mean, we have a very, very high level of trust. And it's easier when you've got 50 people in your organization and when you have 100 people in your organization, you have 200 people in your organization. But when you have 1,000, it becomes much more difficult and you have to rely on other leaders. I mean, I can't just do it myself. So I had, there were other leaders in the organization who had to walk this talk as well. So I'd say that was, uh, that was definitely um, the most poignant uh, memory. Maybe it's